All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Wickard Acres. My name's Dirk. Today, we're gonna install this Dirt Dog 60-inch lamb plane. Onto my Kubota BX23S. We've got one bit of a problem. It rained about three inches last night, so everything is just soaking wet, muddy mess. So what I need to do is I need to get these uh, pallet forks right here, put up onto the skid loader, uh, because I don't think my tractor is gonna be able to lift the package that is gonna be delivered. So I need to go up there, get the skid loader, and see if uh, we can get the bucket off of it. Here we got muddy mess at least the sun's shining that's looks like trash guy came today he was probably cussing me this is hopefully what i'm gonna fix with the tool that is getting delivered today so let's go up to the skid see if we can't get it ready well we got a blown fuse again so Definitely popped. So I just ordered it from Good Works Tractors. Um, I'll roll in the price what I paid for it right here. And uh, they shipped it today. I ended up, I put pallet forks on my father-in-law skid loader to unload it because I think it was just outside of the lift capacity of the Kubota to unload it from a tractor trailer. So <clears throat> if you get one of these, a lot of the people are just getting the 48 inches. I opted for the 60 inch and I'm just gonna see if it works. There's actually not a lot of videos on this um, Dirt Dog land plane other than the Good Works Tractor YouTube channel. So I figured I'd buy one and I'm going to get the 60 and try it on the Kubota BX series and see if it works or not. See how good it works. I've got uh, over a thousand feet of gravel driveway that I need to get leveled and smoothed because I got a lot of, got, had a lot of washout from dirt coming over the driveway. Um, there's potholes in a couple of areas or I want to see if this land plane will take care of so The 48 incher by dirt dog doesn't come with these ripper shanks right here um, And I wanted to have those because this the other driveway this longer driveway is probably 25 years old now so it's gotten a lot of a lot of packed down gravel in it and I wanted to see I wanted to make sure I had those ripper teeth so that it could uh, cut into those, cut into that uh, really old base. So my father-in-law has just always added gravel to it. And I'm gonna try, we're gonna try something. Hopefully this will make it so that we, we can just pull this over the driveway and not have to ever get any more gravel. So that's my hope. Um, so it's still on the pallet. I just got my uh, backhoe off, just got my three-point arms loaded up onto the tractor. And I'm going to back up to this. I'm going to cut this green strip here and try to hook up to it. All right, so I thought it'd be good to get some measurements of it first. So let's go around and I got my tape measure here. So it stands right at oh, about 13 and a half inches tall. Looks like it's got a pretty thick bottom shoe there to ride on the, on the gravel and dirt 
Looks like the steel thickness is 3 16 Yeah, 3 16 Up there, this is a big, looks like four by four tube steel. Yep, four inch by four inch. Probably, I don't, I can't tell the thickness, but it, with this, this radius edge right here, it looks pretty beefy. The three point arms, that is, or where the three point it attaches, that's about half inch right there. Ripper shanks are three quarter inch. This looks like a quarter inch chunk of flat bar here, tying these two together. Looks like we got this, there's a piece of, piece of steel that connects the three point back to this. And that is, oh, We'll call it five sixteenths. That's pretty beefy. Um, this up here, two and a half inch wide. And these are just plates welded together. Looks like this plate is actually bent on top. So instead it looks, some people I think have used channel steel. This is just a cold form channel probably put in a bender then welded this plate on. I've seen a lot of other land planes where these, these uh, cross pieces here are like a bolt-on assembly. These are all welded. And it, it's not actually angle iron. It is, looks like a bent piece of plate. So a piece of angle iron would have a tighter corner right up here. And then this looks like a bent plate. Welds look pretty good on it. And this piece of tube steel back here is a two and a half by two and a half by, I don't know the thickness obviously, but weld looks okay there. Uh, the overall depth of it, 49 and a quarter. Let's see how overall width ends up measuring about 65 and a half inches wide. That's kind of interesting. So it's like 65 and an eighth up front. <clears throat> And if I go clear to the back, it's, okay, 65 and a quarter. I might've had it at an, coming off at an angle. It, it kind of, it plays with your, with you visually on this piece here, cause it's kind of at an angle, so. But in between to in between is, so from inside face over there, to here is right at, it's like, yeah, about 60 and an eighth. So that's pretty awesome. So it doesn't have, it's got a cutting edge on the front side of the, of the uh, cutters there. It does not have one on the back side. I've seen, seen some where they have it on the back side also. But uh, this one doesn't have that. Not a big deal. I don't, really plan on using it in reverse a whole lot but yeah we'll get her hooked up here and uh see if that if it looks pretty big for the bx but we'll see if she can handle it it's got four bolts one two three four actually five bolts here that bolt on that bottom shoe to the to the uh land plane and there is a bolt hole back here in the back. I don't know what that's for. Let's get it hooked up. So I think I've got it 
uh, leveled, tightened, all ready to go. Let's take it on its first first run. Well, let me show you the driveway first, just to just to get an idea. So you can see it's pretty ripped up through here. Kind of a lot of mud. You can see where the the trash man came this morning. Whoa. There we go. First person. You can see where the trash man came this morning and made some big ruts. There's some big ruts over in there. Kind of, you know, just overall not a not in very good shape. <laughs> and uh, we'll kind of walk all the way up and I had put a bunch of screenings down through here and you can see it just like turns into mud when it's wet which is pretty annoying so I'm hoping I can break some of this up I got a couple of big humps right through here and right there I want to get those flattened out and uh, this is where the mud kind of washes down onto the driveway there's a, the delivery driver backed into the into the yard right there today. Came over here and then, so this is kind of the end of our driveway that we call it. And that's the start of my father-in-law's driveway. And you can see he's got a bunch of grass kind of growing up in the middle of his driveway there. And then down through there, it kind of washes out and gets all wet and kind of nasty. So we're gonna see we're just gonna mess with my driveway for now. I've gotten, I think it was two loads of rock dumped onto it. And we're gonna see what, what we can do and kind of how it acts.
How about that, guys? I, I think that worked amazing. Uh, it's this probably, what, 15 minutes maybe tops up and down the driveway here and around in that circle. And it's got all of the high spots leveled out. There was all that, those ruts from the garbage truck over there. They're all leveled out and even. We've got a lot of rock loosened up here on the top. And I mean, it just looks great. I'm very, very surprised. I, I know that everybody who's gotten one says you won't regret it, but this has uh, met my expectations and exceeded them. Um, let's talk about how that the BX23S pulled the 60 inch, the five foot wide land plane. It, it didn't bog down once. Um, I didn't have the scarifiers in. It was just using the scrapers. So maybe if I, if I put the scarifiers in or the, the shanks, it might be a, might have pulled a little harder, but I didn't notice any issues with it pulling at all. And I was pulling in low. <coughs> um, worked great. So let's go ahead and let's walk around and look at how it did here. Okay, just a little bit. Got a lot of loose gravel here on top. Got it. So there was some of these mud clumps here that kind of got rolled up. You can tell, but those will just dry up. And I mean, now you can tell how wet that's the, uh, the mud is or the clay is underneath this rock. And it just rolled it up in the rock. And now I can take these and just kind of toss them off to the side. So that worked great. I got to get, um, this is a kind of a lower problem spot. I'll just back up into there and then kind of pull, I think is what I'll do. Or maybe I'll just try to push some backwards. Um, or just get a big load, you know, come down the driveway and pull up and just kind of have it dump right there in that low spot. And then uh, I'll, I'll try to do the same here in these lower spots in front of the house. But man, I think it's a, it gets two thumbs up for me for ease of, it was super easy. There was no, any, nothing to put together when it came. Everything was assembled. All I had to do was take it uh, cut two straps off of the pallet, hook it up to the three point, and it was literally ready to go right when it showed up. So that's pretty exciting. Usually you got to cut a PTO shaft or assemble something, you know, just to get it ready to go. This was super easy. Uh, it came, I ordered it on a Monday and it came the following Monday. It was actually scheduled to come uh, last Friday, but there was a mix up with the shipping company and they didn't get it on the truck. So um, let's, I'll roll in some shots here of doing the big long driveway next. But as of right now, super happy with the purchase. So yeah, I, I highly recommend the Dirt Dog 60 inch wide, especially uh, for the BX series. Works great. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'm running out of daylight, but hopefully you can tell how good of a job this thing did. All the way up. And then to top it off, we got an amazing sunset up over the hill. Can't quite tell. There it is. Look at that. So... That's going to do it for this one. You're going to see a lot more of this on the channel. I'm going to keep this maintained, keep my driveway maintained. I might even try it on some dirt to level out my yard a little bit. But I uh, hope you guys found this interesting. Hope it, hope you learned something from it. I appreciate you watching. Again, my name's Dirk. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Ask me any questions about the Dirt, dirt Dog 60-inch land plane and the BX23S pulling it. No issues at all. So highly recommend. 
We'll see you on the next one.